Well, good morning. I'm here at the office uh, having my devotion time this morning, and I just wanted to share a quick word with you uh, to help you get your day uh, started out uh, focused on the Lord. I'm still reading the book of Deuteronomy. We're about to finish that up. Uh, but I want to share a verse out of Deuteronomy chapter 34, uh, and it's verse 7. It says, Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eyes was undimmed and his vigor unabated. Think about that with Moses' life, 120 years old. And that's a long time. I don't know that I want to live to be 120 years old. I hope Jesus comes back before then. But thinking back on Moses' life, we can look at his life and break it down into three periods or, or three kind of 40-year time frames. Uh, we see that his first 40 years were spent there in Egypt uh, in Pharaoh's house, you know, raised by Pharaoh's daughter. And Moses received uh, the best education and the best training that was out there. And keep in mind that Egypt was the, the dominant civilization then. So Moses got the best of everything, and so he was very well trained and equipped, and God was going to use that later on in Moses' life uh, as Moses would lead God's people. Uh, then the next 40 years uh, was a time that God spent humbling Moses uh, because Moses had uh, gotten a little bit arrogant and cocky in himself, and uh, uh, when he left Egypt, he knew that God wanted him to lead uh, Israel he could figure out why they wouldn't follow him. Uh, so God took 40 years uh, of Moses' life uh, working with him. And here he was out uh, being a goat herder. Uh, you think about that, having the best education possible. Uh, and then now you're herding goats. Uh, and it took 40 years. And, and you know, let that be a lesson to all of us. You know, when God is, is working at us uh, and humbling us, let it not take 40 years to get there, right? Uh, so God humbled him and got him to a place spiritually where Moses could finally uh, look up to God uh, and say, who am I? And so it was there at 80 years old that God called Moses to, to lead uh, Israel. This was in Exodus chapter 3. Uh, and Moses was not so full of himself then. He, he was ready to, to hear what God wanted him to do. He was ready to allow God to lead him. Uh, as being the leader of God's people. So he led them for 40 years. So from the age of 80, now think about that for a second, 80 years old. You know, a lot of us look forward to those uh, retirement years, right? Uh, look forward to reaching that time where we can uh, retire and not have to, to, to go to work and, and uh, just enjoy uh, the years uh, that we have with our families uh, and enjoy that time uh, together. But Moses was 80 years old here, <clears throat> so that shows me that uh, when we're serving the Lord, there's no retirement age. Uh, we serve him faithfully all of our lives. So from the age of 80 to 120 years old, Moses uh, led God's people, uh, and he was faithful in doing it. It wasn't perfect. Uh, of course, we know that as we've read through the book of Deuteronomy, uh, but this is the man whom God had chosen. This is the man that God said he spoke with face to face as a man speaks to his friend. He's at 120 years old when he breathed his last. He says that Moses' eyes were undimmed and that his vigor was unabated. He was still ready to go. He was still ready to keep on serving. His eyes were still focused on the Lord. He still had that, that twinkle in his eyes when it come to, to doing God's will and wanting to... to be with the Lord and wanting to follow his ways. He had his strength. I mean, all gone, he's climbing a mountain at 120 years old. God still had given him the strength uh, physically to be able to, to lead the people. And now, when I think about that, that means a lot to me because I don't know how long I'll live. You know, none of us do. But I hope that one day when uh, my life is over, that somebody could say these same words about me, that they have seen my life and, 
and my love and, and my devotion for the Lord, they would say that even in my old age, if I get to be there, or whether it be tomorrow, I hope that somebody could say that my eyes were undimmed and that my vigor for the Lord was unabated, that I served him wholeheartedly each day of my life. So I hope that uh, you think about that today. Maybe let that sink in and think on that for a little while and how you uh, hunger for the Lord and you desire to serve him, uh, serve him all the days of your life. And could somebody say that about you, that your eyes were undimmed and your vigor unabated? I love you. I hope you have a blessed day.